Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. And you're watching the Model 3 Tip of the Week. All right, Jesse, what do we got this week? Um, we're talking about creep. Who, who's a creep? No, no, we're talking about uh, creep in the Model 3. It's a setting you can turn on, and we're going to get into it right now. So there's a setting that I don't think a lot of people know a lot about, and that is creep. Um, it's kind of a weird name for, <laughs> for a setting. So anyway, we're going to talk a little bit about it today. All right, so let's talk about creep. I'm gonna turn it on. So then I'm gonna put the car in drive, and without me putting any pedal input, the car is gonna slowly creep forward. So for people who are used to automatic transmission cars, um, this should be very natural to you. you. You simply, you know, take your foot off the brake, and the car does a little bit of acceleration up to a very low speed. Now, I'm getting up to about three miles an hour, I feel like my older cars used to get up to like at least 10. So it's a very gentle creep. But basically what it, this allows you to do is if you're so used to having creep on a car that this causes uh, problems with your with your Tesla, it, this allows you to simulate it to kind of get you used to your new car. Now I usually don't have creep on it and I will tell you why. It, takes away from the one pedal driving experience. A lot of the time I can do most of my slow speed driving with just one pedal. I'm using regen braking and I'm using acceleration. So I very rarely need to hit the brake pedal. But now if I want to come to a stop, I can't just rely on regen braking. I have to actually hit the brake pedal and then I either have to set hill hold or something like that or I have to put the car in park. Now, a lot of you might be saying creep is dangerous because on occasion, people will accidentally leave their cars and drive, they will get out of their car to do something and they'll pin themselves against the wall or something like that. Well, luckily, the Tesla is pretty smart. So if I were to unbuckle my seatbelt and open the door and it starts creeping away, as you notice, <laughs> it immediately put it into park, vehicle automatically parked to prevent roll away. And once you get above two or three miles an hour, you can't open the door. If I get down to zero miles an hour, I can open the door. Now I'm still seated, but it'll immediately put it in park right after, because it knows that the door is open and that the car should not be rolling on its own. Now let's change that. Let's quickly go to turning creep off, and we'll try to do the same thing. So I have the car in drive. I can't open my door at three miles an hour. I have to slow down. I open the door. Now it is letting me keep driving because I still have my foot on the pedal. Now I'm gonna release my foot from the pedal for a minute. And it's still, there we go. It enabled. Now let's see if we do it a different way. Start driving, my door is open. And then I get out of my seat. So because I'm still putting in pedal input, it doesn't see that I have left. But if I wait long enough, it'll put it in park. It's kind of a fail safe system no matter what you do. It's kind of really nice. So this car can do without creep. And a lot of people might be wondering, hey, you know, I would like to have my car not have creep. Why does it have creep? And it has to do with automatic transmissions. When they first were making automatic transmissions, they couldn't figure out how to make it so that the car wouldn't creep forward if you had an automatic. And basically, they just continued to make it that way since they started making it that way. I'm not sure if automatic transmissions today could, if they wanted to, have you you know, come to complete stops and only go when the pedal goes. I think it sort of found its way into tradition, but you now have the option of whether to turn it on or off. And just so you know, it creeps in reverse too. Oh, so it's not a creep in the Model 3. I wouldn't want to do that to people. No. Right. So, I mean, I think that it's uh, it has its place. I don't use it. I hate it. Yeah, I don't like it either. But I, I much prefer to be in complete control of my car at all times. Um, but it's a good legacy feature, you know, for people who need that something to transfer maybe from maybe to... but if i ever passed out in my car for whatever reason it would no it is it is dumb i mean if you think about why why did why do we even need to do that just to emulate some old technology right i would rather uh, that my car eventually comes to a stop 
instead of it continuing to roll at five miles an hour. I do want to say, don't attempt to do what Jesse did, uh, trying to get out of the car while you're creeping. That was uh, scary, but it's it's important for science. Important to test. That's right. Thank you so much for watching our Model 3 Tip of the Week. Now, if you're a Patreon and you support us there for as little as a buck a month, you get to see these Model 3's Tips of the Week a couple days early on Mondays. Mm -hmm. Also, you get to see all of our bonus stories. So head on over to Patreon. You support the show. You become an awesome person. And... Uh, don't forget about Discord. Discord is oh, yeah. a $3 a month perk, and you get to be introduced to the entire Now You Know Discord community. There are over yeah. 200 people. Everyone there is awesome. I can just verify that myself um, by going on there, some of the conversations that we're having. It's, so it's a mean, great way to make yourself awesome. Absolutely, and it's one of the like nicest places on the internet. Everyone there is really like nice and respectful. And I'm not used to seeing that no, on the internet. <laughs> um, it is a far cry from our YouTube comments. So if you're reading through the YouTube comments or you don't do that. And we you, have good YouTube comments. Sometimes we do. But Come on, they're pretty good. Compared to Discord, it's nothing. Wow. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Now you know.